Hey guys, uh, Ninja Picker here. Minor haul uh, video today. Uh, you see, uh, I got the True Moon books, no covers. You're gonna be able to get about for twenty bucks. Uh, got them for uh, buck seventy-five. Principles of Internal Medicine. It's worthless. I'm gonna try to sell them in the shop for um, probably five or six dollars. Uh, it's an older edition. I should have known that, but. I figured I'd just pick it up anyway. It was a, it was a, it was a buck. Uh, today was a pretty interesting day. I only spent 13 bucks, and I'll get to the good stuff here in a minute. Um, lesson learned with the with the salon selective uh, rollers. Make sure they're clean. <laughs> hey, you know um, this is the Lego soccer set, and it came in a different box. And this is number 3409. I almost had a heart attack uh, when I first looked this up on eBay. The uh, one of the soccer sets was going for two hundred dollars. So uh, this one's about a thirty thirty five dollar set. Uh, we'll do okay on that. Garfield hot mug. Bought it for a buck. Should sell for ten. U.S. Army duffel bag should sell for ten to fifteen dollars. I don't know if I'm going to sell it locally in the shop or not. This is an Ikea print of the Twin Towers. Now, this was made in 1999, and it's actually a photograph of a pigeon with the Twin Towers in the background. Um, the Twin Towers are out of focus. It's kind of interesting. I couldn't find anything like it. We'll see how that goes. These are some train parts, and I say parts because the only one that's really complete is the little caboose right there. Uh, it's a Mar set, which I think was a Lionel, Mar lines. Not a lot of value there. The uh, I might I might be able to get fifteen dollars out of that. I got a train guy that I'm going to show that to. This is a Star Wars coin book, paid a buck, and it should be worth I don't know maybe about ten dollars if I'm lucky. I'll sell it on eBay. Now the uh, interesting thing of the day. Is I uh, go up to a lady, has a jewelry box, I always tease people. Hey, is this the box with all the gold and the silver in it? And they laugh, they chuckle. No, 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 no. I, I got rid of all that. There's, there's. This is just costume stuff. I said, how much is it? She said, uh, twenty-five cents to a dollar for everything in a box. I said, okay. So I saw, I saw this bracelet right here. And uh, it's unusual because it. Let me lay it down. I might be able to see. It's Italian coins. And right away, looking at it, I knew it was worth more than a dollar. But I kind of played dumb. I, you know. Oh, what's this say? Ita Italia. That must mean it's Italian, huh? This is, yep. Yeah. So, there are some coins. I think there's a couple silver ones in here. Not really sure which ones. I think this might be a silver one. It's 1979. But, uh... If you look at it really close, sorry about that, it does say 925 on there. And so it's sterling silver, the bracelet is anyway. And one sold last week on eBay for I think $100, just about $100. So I'm convinced it's not gold and it's just mainly silver. There's a dollar fine that I'm going to list probably for about 120 on eBay and uh, see how that goes. So pretty happy about that. Nice unexpected find. And uh, that's my little uh, pickings for today. Hope you all had a great day and uh, hey I might go out tomorrow. This is uh, had a good time today. So see you all around and I'm looking forward to seeing your videos. If you like this video please click the like button and if you'd like to subscribe please do. Have a great one.